Today we're going to look at subtle changes to web pages and whether they affect users' click-through rate. Google runs experiments to determine whether features help or hinder the search experience. To show how powerful experiments can be, let's look at a small experiment. Here is a very minor change. Can you pick the difference between the two images? If you look very closely, you'll actually see on this second image here there's actually more white space above and below this first search result compared with the white space here and here. It can be found that there is a measurable difference with a change like this amongst web searches. The extra white space makes the first result in the second image more visually prominent. This visual prominence conveys the fact that according to Google ranking signals, the first result is a substantially better match than the next result. On the plus side, it helps you focus on the first result, but if you are looking for one of the other results, it can disrupt your scanning of the page. An experiment like this helps Google determine which effect is more prominent and whether a change would help you search faster. Maybe you can apply this to links on your site. Another change with minimal visual difference is between these two results. The difference between the two images is in the thickness of the plus box next to the stock quotes. So here's a plus sign here and here's a plus sign here. The thicker the plus sign, the more interaction. We could examine the pros and cons of what is better for the search experience but this is a very simple example of how minor changes can affect click-through rate. In this case, a thicker plus sign gives more click-throughs. But not all of Google's experiments are insane eye tests. The main point is that Google tests almost everything, even things you would think are so small that Google could not possibly care, nor could they possibly matter. In fact, small changes do matter. Another class of experiments have to do with visual changes to the search results. For instance, the titles, as in what you see here, and the snippets of the results page, now highlights stems and some synonyms of the original search query. For the query HP printer drivers, Google also return results that include and highlight the word driver. So in this case, this is for HP printer drivers, and the word driver has been highlighted. It's also been highlighted down here. This stemming is generally a good idea because it helps you better identify results that match your query, but not always. Experiments of this sort help Google verify or occasionally overturn assumptions regarding changes. So by applying subtle changes to web pages, can result in changes to click-through rate, both positive and negative. Experiment with your pages, and if looking for inspiration, examine Google search results. I'm Peter Stroud, and you can find more videos and tips like this at www.controlgoogle.com.